r slash ask reddit if animals could talk what animal would be the most annoying squirrels for sure running around like little crackheads dogs they would be shouting outside my house every single night hey get the fuck off our property oh boy my favorite for every single event they experience throughout the entire days dogs who could talk would be like four-year-olds in exuberant mood every day Loving dogs are even worse. What are you doing? Where are you going? I want snacks. More belly rubs? Let's go walking. And this were only the first two minutes. Why are you yelling? Was it me? It must be me. Yelling at the box with the wire coming out in front of the big moving pictures. A reflection of what a bad dog I am. You hate me. I am not eating today. Vomits grass. My 13 pound mini rat terrier who is hypersensitive. Specifically, Pomeranians or Chihuahuas would be the most annoying. And they are so needy, yet so vacant. I remember a far side when some scientist had a had made a transition device and he went outside to test it. All the neighborhood dogs were screaming, woof, woof, woof. And through the device, he was able to learn that they, they were all saying was, hey, 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 hey. Like, really... They all just want approval all the time. They have nothing to say. Most accurate cartoon ever. Birds. Constantly repeating. I am here. This is mine. Over and over. Starting at 6 a.m. Not true. There would be a lot of. Want some fuck as well? Cat, 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 cat. A mosquito. It would be the most annoying voice ever. Dogs would talk like that weird friend in elementary school that never leaves your side and always wants to do everything with you, even though you find them slightly annoying. Imagines if mosquitoes talk li- with like a crazy baritone like James Earl Jones. That would be fucking hilarious. Infidel, defiles. They should all drown in lakes of blood. Elephant, constantly bringing up shit you've forgotten. Hey, so you remember what you did on that drizzly Tuesday back in 86? That was pretty messed up, dude. Don't you start, Louis. We share the same mushrooms. Doris still doesn't know that it was the calf she raised that punched a hole in her trailer with his dong. Well, Louis, any other nuggets you want to bring up again? Yeah, I thought so. Giraffes. Long necks, big vocal cords. Seagull. Mine. 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 Despite being obsessed with them, I think Yelvis has shown us that the fox would be ring ding 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 ding. Give chicken, human. Fox is cute. Give chicken. Hey, hey, human. I know you can hear me. Give chicken. I would also like eggs, please. I'll let you pet my head, please. Give me egg. I'm so floofy. Look how cute I am. I choose to believe that they would... Wouldn't speak with any punctuation. Chihuahuas would be so fucking annoying. They're already annoying little fuckers that don't know that they're small dogs. I once got attacked by baby chihuahuas and did some speedrun shit. There's one on my street that keeps going for my German Shepherd. I swear someday I will let let her at him. Honestly, it would be fun to be able to talk shit to him. Bro, don't act tough. You're the size of my shoe. In a high-pitched voice, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Over and over and over and over. Spiders, you can hear them talk, but you'll never know where they are coming from. Or which dark corner they are looking in. For some reason, I anticipate the way they speak will be in third person, so there is a story to be told. You somehow turned a funny imaginary game into fuel for my nightmares. Thanks a lot. I feel this. I love spiders, and this comment made me very uncomfortable. Greg tripped over his second to front right foot again. Greg is a failure. Help him up. Greg is on the ceiling by the window. He promises to kill lots of mosquitoes for you tomorrow. Tapeworms. I don't care what my poo tastes like, Howard. It's three in the goddamn morning. Shut up already. Rats. There are so many of them in the sewers, and you bet your ass it's gonna- be all, Johnny, where's the goddamn cheese? I give it to fucking Dave. Dave, give me the fucking cheese. New York City fuck rats would be scary motherfuckers. 
What's for dinner, Remy? Emily, stop eating. The liar bird. If that thing could understand us, it would be the most annoying thing because it can mimic a hell of a lot of noises and pretty convincingly. Seriously interesting bird, though. Also blue jays. They scream all the time and they're bullies. Oh god, too true. Those assholes would be screaming trash talk all day long. You want a piece of this, do you? Huh, do you? Get the fuck out. Or I will rip those eyes out of your fool face, motherfucker. Hey. And on and on and on for hours to each other, to other birds, to squirrels, to the homeowner who feeds them, lol, magpies too. Same douchebag personality I would have to learn to shoot. Donkey. Haha, <laughs> I saw this too. Devil and geese. Canada geese, aka the cobra chicken. Goats. Donkey. Source. Shrek. Obviously, the parrot. They all sound like Gilbert Gottfried. Pigeons. My damn cat. She's kind of a bitch. My cat would roast me like a fucking chicken. So bad that I would probably... I don't know what KMS means. I don't. I'll have to Google it later. At least mine sleeps 18 hours a day. I would have enough quiet time, actually. My cat is quite the sweetheart. She usually just politely asks for cuddles, food, or to go see her friends at the brewery. I'm the only one living... I'm the only living thing that my cat remotely loves. Even then, she'll lay on me, then hiss in my face because I'm touching her. Any primate, because they might be able to bring up politics at family dinners. Do insects count? Because crickets are already massive cunts. Now imagine if they could communicate more clearly. Roosters are annoying as fuck. Mosquitoes, 100%. A cat would roast you and don't care about you like, I don't give a shit type of person. They would 100% call themselves brutally honest. House flies. I have a moral dilemma every time I encounter one. If their voices are as loud as humans ant, a whole line of ants walking across your kitchen counter. If their aunts, if their voices are as loud as humans, ants, a whole line of ants walking across your kitchen counter and chatting it up as they go, that would drive you insane. But if they have similar volume as they do now, or we can assume one based on pawn body size, I would have to say birds, as someone else did, with cicadas as a close second due to a shorter season of being around. Because what you mostly hear are the mating calls, so the last thing I'd want to hear outside during the day is, You want to take this dick, baby? Yeah, you like my nest? We can fuck all night in it. Oh, sure, fly away. Socialist women steady, bitch. Flies. They would just mock you. My dog. He's always judging everything I do. I'm sure he'll call me an idiot to my face. Hummingbirds. Dust mites. Now, they rely on stealth. They keep silent when you're around. Cats. Oh my god, you're living in my house. At least feed me. Mosquitoes. Imagine just a bunch of mosquitoes swarming you and go, Mmm, time for lunch. <laughs>